Since 2013, the Islamic State has taken control of the Euphrates Dam, which is located in the western countryside of Raqqa, and it also has exploited the dam as a starting point for its military operations. Besides that, it used it as a fortification for its members and senior leaders, as well as a storage of ammunition. In addition, it has used the dam as a place for detention and torture of its prisoners. The Islamic State started investing in Euphrates Dam right after it dominated it. And this includes distributing the electric energy the way they want and taking the incomes from the inhabitants of Al-Raqqa, their resort and other areas. Besides that, it has used the body of the dam as a prison for kidnapped people and a safe place for its leaders. Daesh controls this strategic location, excluding the possibility of targeting it by the Syrian airstrikes. Therefore, the Islamic State militants are using the dam as a secure shelter, because bombing it would risk a big flood, as huge amounts of water, worth of 14 billion cubic meters, are behind the dam. If Daesh blows up the dam, there will be environmental and humanitarian disasters, and this also will destroy the Syrian antiquities, which are located on both sides of the river, like the Jabar Citadel, Halbia and Zalbia areas in their Zor, reaching to Mary. Officials and analysts fear that Daesh could blow up the dam if they lose their grip on the region, which would be catastrophic to several cities in Syria, and reaching Iraq as the water of the Euphrates will sink all of Raqqa and their Zor, reaching parts of Iraq which could kill about 3 million people, overwhelm oil and gas wells, and cut off the electric generation process, which governs about 10% of the need for the people living in eastern Syria, besides depriving the neighboring areas of drinking and irrigation water. Syrians are being deprived of water and electric power due for its dam used to provide. Moreover, the dam is used as a refuge by extremist groups, who don't care neither about the economy nor about the environment. Rena Mitwali, MDC, Damascus.